So I don't know about you guys, but I did a whole lot of online shopping during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and this is what I came up with. I have a ton of products in here, so I thought I would do a what's new at the drugstore to me haul. Some of these things are things that are brand new out on the market, but the majority of them are just that they're new to me and I wanna share them with you. We're gonna step right into this, and first I'm gonna talk about the ton of setting sprays that I bought. I bought so many because I really wanna try these out for you guys and see which is best, like not for just setting your makeup, but there is all kinds now. There's hydrating, there's aluminizing, it goes, it goes on and on and on. So the first one that I bought is from Maybelline. This is the Lasting Fix. I've been told that this is a dupe for Urban Decay's that keeps your makeup on as good as that. I really like it as far as I've tried it like two times, I think. So, so far so good on that. And then I put in an order of Beauty Creations and I wanted to try one of their setting sprays. This is in the scent Peach. If you don't like scents, this will not be for you because this definitely has a peach, a peach smell, kind of like the Too Faced peach products have as well. And then I also put in an order, and I'm gonna show you this before I shake it up. This is from Sleek, and this is called Life Proof Illuminating Fixing Spray, but this is alcohol free. So you can see down here in the bottom where everything is kind of settled, and it does have a little ball in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you're supposed to shake it up and it, that little ball moves around and it gets all those particles and I'm sure they're like pearlized particles. And then it turns to this pretty gold color which is just so pretty on your face and so illuminating. And so I really have been enjoying this so far. I've only used it like two times. It doesn't really have a super nice spray. I will say that it's kind of still along the lines of being too much at once, but I hold it out far enough and it seems to be okay. Then I got two from Wet n Wild. One is their primer and the other one is their natural finish spray. I have had this natural before and I really like it because it doesn't make me drier or mattify. So I really do like that one. I also got one from Believe Beauty. I did put in, I did go down and get a bunch of stuff from Believe Beauty that I'm going to talk a little bit about today. Um, this one is really good at setting. That one I like. And then I got this one from Flower Beauty, which is new on the market as well. And this is the Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray. Now, if you can see in here, again, we have the separation right there and you have to shake that up really well. That almost to me, even though it doesn't feel oily on your skin, feels like it might be some sort of a slight oily product. I'm not exactly sure. I'll try to research that and set it up on the screen here for you guys so you know. I did pick up three foundations also. This foundation from Physicians Formula, this is their new Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir. This one I do have an opinion about. I like this a lot. I do not like the delivery system. It's a dropper tube. I don't know why uh, Physicians Formula for what they charge, they can't invest in a pump. I don't get that part, but I do like the actual foundation itself. It's very light and gives you a skin-like finish, very silky, very pretty, and it lasts a long time. I have been enjoying this one. I'm going to continue to try it and let you guys know. Also from Maybelline, I got the brand new Dream Radiant Liquid. This is a hydrating um, foundation. It does say that it has collagen in it, and I get a little bit twitchy when people start saying that things that go on your face have collagen in them. I'll tell you why. <laughs> because the collagen molecule is too big to penetrate the skin. So any skincare or anything like that that says it has collagen in it, they're just trying to hype their product up because we all know that collagen is what gives our, our faces that bounce or gives the skin the bounce to it, plumps it up, makes it look really pretty. But you have to get collagen other ways. Our bodies make it internally. Vitamin A will stimulate the production of collagen. If you get the blood supply running to your face, that stimulates the production of collagen. So there's other ways to do it. You can't just slap it on your face and do it. So 
This is a decent foundation. I'm not gonna say that don't run out and buy it just because it says it has collagen in it, but just basing it off of what the foundation is. I do like the foundation. It covers very well. So far, I haven't been able to get a long wear out of it, so I'm a little bit leery of that, but I'll get, I'll get you guys updated on that and let you know. And then after my 10 foundations from the drugstore video for the favorites, one of you said that you really, actually a couple of you said that you really like the Revlon Color Stay and that you like the normal to dry formula. And I've used this twice. I'm actually wearing it today. I've used it twice and I have to agree with you. I really actually do like it. It lasts a long time. It's just a tiny bit heavier than I'm used to. So all you have to do is go really light handed with it, but it does stay a long time. And I'm really liking that one. Oh shoot, I forgot a setting spray. This is the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray that I wanted to give a try. So I wanna tell you guys about that one. And of course I will report back very soon to you about all those setting sprays finishing sprays, all those things that I am wanting to, to test for you guys. I picked up several things from Believe Beauty. This is their primer, Pretty and Primed um, Stay Put Makeup Primer. This one did not really hit my qualifications for a primer, which are, it needs to be blurring, it needs to have a little bit of moisture to it, and it needs to help my makeup stay on a long time. The only thing that I really feel like this did was really just help the makeup stick a little bit longer, but it even didn't give me the super long wearing like I get from some of my other ones. I also picked up their setting powder. This is the loose one. I don't really have too much of an opinion about this because I haven't had a chance to like use it a ton. It does have a slight um, yellow cast to it, which doesn't bother me because that's very brightening, but I will be reporting back to you on that one. I also picked up another powder and this one is from L'Oreal. This is called Hydra Perfect. I don't know how I have skipped this one. I, this has apparently been out for a long time, but it also has apparently only been available um, at Walmart or on some websites. And so I just haven't noticed it before. What do I think about it? I don't really have a super high opinion or negative opinion on it at all right now. I think if they put the word Hydra in there, that tells us all that it's supposed to be hydrating. But as far as being a setting powder, I don't think it's bad. And then I also got from, this one is from Catrice. This one I wanted to try because it reminded me of the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. And that's supposed to be um, more along the lines of a foundation. But what I like about that one is that she has all the colors swirled together. And that's kind of what this one does. It kind of swirls a bunch of different colors together. But it says it's the Healthy Look Mattifying Powder and it's translucent. And it is translucent once you get it on your face. Right here it's gonna look very kind of powdery yellow. But once you get it on your face, you can't tell at all. It's a very silky, creamy formula. I do like it. I, I actually like it a lot for being a little bit of a perfecting powder as far as if you have any uneven skin tone or anything like that. So I have been enjoying that one from Catrice. Also, I'm in the middle of trying a lot, a lot, a lot mascaras for you guys. So this time I picked up the one from Believe Beauty. I picked up the Colossal Lashes from Maybelline, the Lash, Lash Sensational one. This one came in a kit this time. And I'm trying the Lash Craft from Sephora. This one is the lengthening and the volumizing one. So I'm trying all of those. I have a video that's gonna be coming out about mascaras and my favorite ones from the drugstore. So definitely needed to purchase some more of those from Physicians Formula, that organic wear that we just talked about. I also picked up, this is supposed to be a bronzing and a sculpting stick. And it's kind of like, you know, a medium brown color or kind of, I guess, maybe more along the lines of a darker brown color. So there is just a light swatch of it. I haven't been able to work this out to where it could be my contour, but as far as bronzing, it really goes in, it really just blends in and it really looks beautiful once you get it on. It is one that you wanna go really light handed with. You can kind of tell that that would be a really dark on my skin. So you would wanna go really light handed with it. It's very creamy and it works into the skin really nice. I just thought that I was gonna be getting it for contour and it's worked out to be more of a bronzer, which is a little bit harder for me too. Definitely when you're using a cream product as a bronzer, you know, I usually just hit the high points and that is a little bit hard to do when you have a cream on your brush. So 
kind of jury out on this one still. Oh, I forgot to mention that I also have from J Cat Beauty their lengthening mascara. This was a five star rating on Ulta's site. So that's why I picked up that one because I definitely wanted to try that one for you guys. From Flower Beauty, a brand new product that just came out is called their Day Glow Highlighting Face Powder, or it's not a powder, I'm sorry, it's a cream. And honestly, you guys, when I got this on, it's not really the kind of illuminizer that you would find in a normal cream highlighter. It's really just illuminating. And so it is just absolutely beautiful on the skin. This makes your skin look very glass-like. Now you wouldn't wanna put powder on top of it because then it would just kind of sink the powder into it. You might get a lot of texture that way, but I really think that this is something that I'm going to enjoy a lot working with because it gives that glass-like finish to your skin instead of bam, beaming. So on the everyday when you're just wanting something, you know, one and done, you just take your finger, dot it across your cheeks. If you want to put it in the middle of your lipstick, it can just like brighten that up and beam that up, which I think is such a pretty look on the lips as well. So lots of uses for that one. Speaking of Korean, <laughs> this is from Misha and this is the Illuminating Primer. I am so excited about this product. Now, first of all, I'll tell you guys that I don't normally use this as a primer. I use it as a mix-in to my matte foundations. Secondly, I'm gonna tell you that there is quite a big smell on this. And it is, it's a very flowery, powdery smell, but it is a beautiful illuminating product. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that is just absolutely gorgeous. When it dries down on your skin, it does give that beautiful illuminating, again, glass-like skin, which I think is so pretty. But this is not one that I just feel like I can put on underneath makeup and have it show through. So that's why I mix it in. Oh my goodness, this plays so well with foundations and it just looks so pretty and just lights up a foundation if you're having a tough time with dry skin or whatever this is a beautiful beautiful primer to mix in and then the last product that i want to share with you guys is a product that kind of knocked my socks off and when i say that i was really surprised you know a uh, belief beauty that i talked to you guys about in the video where i just absolutely love their foundation this is one of their lipsticks first of all how is this company at five dollars putting out such nice looking products. I don't know how they do it. They they have the Believe um, logo right down here. It's raised up. There is a geometric design again on the cap. It just looks like a very luxe lipstick. And then you guys, you get in here and it is a very luxe lipstick. It is beautiful. These, This formula is so pretty. This one is called Plum Royale. And this isn't a color that I would wear on the daily, but I picked it because I wanted to really kind of amp up what I was doing and try it as a out there. As, as far as like, this isn't a nude, this isn't one of my pinks. This is like an out there color. Can I wear it? Is the formula good? And I just have to say yes on all those fronts. It just checked off all those boxes for me. And what I did was I very, very lightly just put it on the outside of the lips just to give some like 3D dimension effect. You put the lighter in the middle and then the darker on the outside. Now I have worn this all by itself and it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. It's really a pretty, pretty plum color. So I'm actually kind of excited where we live. We don't have a dollar general. It's an hour away I'm actually thinking I'm gonna have my husband go back down there with me Take me down there and we're gonna go check out some more of these because I think that these are really really good formula As far as lipsticks goes and that could go for any skin tone whatsoever Okay, you guys that wraps up my haul but I, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section if there is a setting spray or a mascara that you have been thinking about from the drugstore and you want me to test it out, please let me know. Or if there is either of those products, the setting spray or the mascara that is your holy grail product and you're wanting me to try it and see how it is, I'd love to hear that too because I'd love to pass on to everybody what it works really good. That is it for today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I hope everyone is happy and healthy. Please take care of yourselves. I love you very much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.